What's crackling, everybody? Welcome back to the definitive cereal tier list, where every episode we will be ranking a cereal on the tier list. Currently, as it stands, we got our lead cereal, Cocoa Krispies, coming in at a B. And last time, not week, maybe week, we'll see how these come out. Last time, we got Lucky Charms in a C, and you'll notice not the same spot. I just wanted to make it incredibly clear the Lucky Charms is the middle of the road. Just kind of, yeah, you know, you get it. Now this week we will be doing Frosted Flakes, a classic. They are great with three R's. That's how you know it's good. Once again, going family size here. It's this one that I traditionally would have bought anyways. So let's get to it. All right, box time. Boom, easy. There's yet to be a bad box. Great. All right, bag time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, see. Across the flakes, bad bag. Tore open like that. It's gonna mess up your whole pour. It's always a bad time. You're gonna be slipping a little. What a bummer. Starting off pretty, pretty bad here, Tony. Let's see what you can do. Get that pour out. It's not messing with it too much. Luckily, most of these pieces are fairly decent size, so I'm not going to slip through those cracks there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this. It's crazy how different these sizes are. You never know what you're going to get. Mm. Oh, yeah. Taste that frosting. I don't think I've been closing these boxes in the other episodes, but felt compelled to right there. Alright, looking good. Let's get into it. The pour for these ones, I remember always being tricky because it's going to splash everywhere. Let's see. No, it did not. Easy pour. Beautiful. Well done. Got some bubbles in there. Here we go. First bite time. Can't take that. That's too sad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Frosted flakes. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I might pour a bit too much milk in there. There's not a lot of dry pieces left. This is the messiest one by far. Hands down. Frosted Flakes, messiest cereal on the list. But, really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love it. Keep covering my mouth because like, I'm trying to be polite. But I'm also recording myself eating. It was difficult making sure you could hear me while eating. Or not looking too gross, because like there's a level of grossness I'm expecting to look doing this. I think all the crunchy parts are gone now. Sometimes there are hidden pockets in this cereal just because of the way it works out. There was first handful of bites when you get crunchy and you're getting some of the wet ones at the bottom. Exquisite stuff right there. Now that we're starting to a uh, soggy a fi sogify. Not really in a bad way yet. We're just getting there. I feel like most of the frostiness of the flakes sort of washes off as you go. It becomes more of a part of the milk, not the individual pieces. But 
Yeah, now it's like sort of just cornflake. I used to have a corn, like cornflake. Frosted flakes of corn. I just didn't want to sound like a dummy. All the cereal people come and yell at me in the comments about how I don't know what I'm talking about. Corn versus oat. That's a good bite. That was a really loud drink. I'm so sorry. And the milk is always really good with these. It's a good milk taste. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm not used to eating this slow. I know this is not super slow. Like, I chow down most of the time when I get cereal. So taking the time like this, you really can tell how soggy they are. I feel like it was a word I've said a lot. Someone can tell me how many times I said soggy in the comments. Sogify. No. Like, it's good. I was really into those first handful of buttons. I feel like if you do better milk ratio, this is probably a little better. So that could be on me. User error there. I still have a good time. I'm enjoying it. Feel ready to. What sport is he doing? No sports on this one. I feel like it's just baseball a lot and basketball. Those are like his go to sports, right? I feel like I'm ready to play some. Play some sports with Tony. Fun guy. Yeah. This, is, this is a tough one for me. I don't know how high I should put this. Hmm. I'm feeling bold. I'm going to imagine... I did a better pour ratio. I think I'm going to give Frosted Flakes an A. I think that's what I'm going to do. So they are good. And this is the one of the ones we've done so far where I most want to pour another one. So that's a good sign. Let's do all more. So yeah, we're going to give it an A. This feels really bold. It's not the best category. Like, you knew it was going to be pretty high up there. It's Frosted Flakes. But, yeah. Frosted Flakes? I don't know. Congratulations. You are now the highest ranked cereal of the definitive cereal tier list. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and in the comments below, post your general thoughts. Tell me how wrong I am about Frosted Flakes. How they're no, 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 Lucky Charms so much better. Frosted Flakes so much lower. Throw them down. You're not right, but I'll listen to it anyways. And I haven't mentioned it before, but I guess if you want, follow me on Twitter, at TuggerDout23. It's pretty much that everywhere. And uh, if you want to yell at me more in person, not just on YouTube, you really want to tell me how wrong I am about Frosted Flakes. Or you want to tell me how right I am. Like, wow, you were so right. These are better than Kobo Crispy and Lucky Charms. And you'll be cool. But... Until next time, stay delicious.